What initially got me involved in teaching RAD was, unfortunately, I did have some of my very best friends who were sexually assaulted. Um, one was a stranger rape, actually, in Mexico. She was pulled in the bushes and brutally raped. And two of my other friends were assaulted by um, members of their university, and it was an acquaintance rape. I started telling several of my friends that I had taken the class and what it had taught me. Um, at that time, they opened up to me and told me that they had been raped. Um, it was a bit of an eye-opener, um, and it, it really brought home the value of this course. I will be able to defend myself. I will be able to hit back. Our goal in teaching RAD is to give the people that take it the most options they can to help them defend themselves if they are attacked. We're not telling you to defend yourself, but we're trying to give you techniques so if you are attacked, you know what to do if you choose to make that option. The were fairly realistic. Of course, it's a controlled setting, uh, which means that we can stop it at any time, but the way that the instructors grab you, the way that they um, try to hit you, it seemed very realistic to me. On the first day of the RAD course, we start out with some, some coursework that, that reminds you about common sense and street smarts. It's a real good uh, packet of information. What do you do if your car breaks down? What do you do if someone's following you? What do you do if you, know, you get strange phone calls at night? Or you get home and you found that your house looks like someone's been in it. Have your keys in your hands ready to go. Don't fumble around in your purse when you get to your car or when you get to your house because your key can actually be a weapon. You take the class, we'll show you how to hold your keys and targets the soft tissue on the, on the bad guys. We'll teach you your personal weapons on yourself. We'll teach you the targets that are vulnerable on, on the people that attack you. So when you strike or when you use those techniques, they'll be most effective. Officer Paquette showed me early on that uh, with the equipment that they use, uh, with the controlled situation that we are in, it really is safe and it, it wouldn't hurt him. I'm proud to say that some of the women that were assaulted that are my very close friends have actually taken my class. So hopefully that prevents anything from happening to them in the future and other women as well. We have had uh, rape victims take the class before and they also you know, show a lot of, uh, more confidence coming through the class at the end. And one of the great things as instructors is when we get success stories. This really has taught me some great techniques, uh, some great ways of hitting, uh, some great ways of getting out of positions that uh, an attacker would put you in. One of the greatest things about our class is to see the confidence that these women get after taking the class. It's 100% difference. They come in, you, know, you see them coming in, they have their head low, they're walking around shy. Um, the time they end, the end of the class, when, after they get done beating me up and we film the class and they watch the movie and they see themselves actually doing the techniques, it's very rewarding for them and for us um, to see their confidence build up. Class generally takes 12 hours, between 10 and 12 hours. We usually teach about 15 women at a time and it is a free class offered to the public and to the students of Ferris. You can get further information from our website, the DPS website, which has uh, rape statistics and tells you um, a little bit more about RAD and the history of it. Um, also, you can contact us at Public Safety Officer Paquette, Joy Paquette, or me, Sergeant James Wing, at DPS. Um, our phone number is 231-591-5000. You can email us, you can leave us voicemails. We'd be happy to talk to you and, and uh, answer any questions or get you signed up for this course.